Alright, so here come these warriors. Definitely to make sure we take them out. Oh, Legault! Oh boy, that's bad. Legault getting hit. That is not good. That's not good. Alright, uh, hopefully these mages and that, that Wyvern Rider can't do any serious damage to Legault. Now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. Legault, dodge! Oh, he did. Oh, he did. He should have dodged the boss's attack anyway, but... Uh, all right, all right. Now, hopefully that mage can't do 10 damage to Legault. Gain resistance! Please gain resistance! Oh, my God! You suck! What is happening? Please gain resistance and did nothing. Essentially, did nothing. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, no! Dodge! Oh, thank you. Oh, my God! Holy crap! See, I'm going with the percentages. Why am I getting punished for doing things all correct? Ridiculous. Fire Emblem problems. Fire Emblem probs. That's what this is. Absolutely, that's what this is. Good. Florina, you're taking care of that mage as I thought she would. No problem at all there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um, first of all, I really want to get that white gem, but that's proving to be a big issue right now. But you know what, though? Now that that guy has the steel axe, maybe, 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 maybe Lucius and Canis can get some strikes in from afar and probably take him out, I betcha. Canis can do 10, Lucius can do 12, 13, even better. All right, so that guy is not a problem. So let's go ahead and just do that right now. Let's go ahead and move Canis here. Oh, hopefully this will hit. Oh, that's that's even better. Let's use Luna. Let's use Luna here. We're stepping it up to the next level. We're in we're in crisis mode right now. Let's use Luna to get a little bit more here. Luna in this game, by the way, I didn't even talk about Luna. Luna negates enemy resistance. It's kind of broken. Like, it's so good. All right. Okay, that's getting a little bit of damage here. And then Lucius is going to get the kill, which is fantastic. Look at that. Look at that animation. That's serious magic right now. Not little flux. We're moving up to Luna now. Fantastic. All right. And uh, let's move. Actually, let's move you there instead. And I'd like you to attack from there. Okay, now Lightning get a better hit percentage. You can. I can. So let's take care of this guy. One down. All right, he's gone. I got hit, but it feels good. These people are too strong, Paul. Whatever. Go away. They're so dumb. These characters are so stupid. Such a waste of my time. All right, go to level up from Lucius. Fantastic. There we go. HP speed resistance. Much better than all that other crap I was getting before. Okay, 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 let's see. Can you kill this thing? Yes, maybe. Maybe she can kill that thing. I'm definitely gonna have her do that because that's like the best chance I have over here. Now, I'm kind of tired of this. Like, I just want Elliewood to go up here and kill this thing. But that thing with the killer axe could wreck my face. So, <clears throat> let's see what's gonna happen here first. I think, regardless, I should have Wrath. Oh, you know what I, you know what I should do? I should have Florina kill this guy. Ugh, although that sucks. That sucks. I could have Wrath move twice. No, 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 that's what I'll do. I'll have Wrath move twice, because that would be much, much better. Uh, let's move Wrath here first, and have him just take care of this thing. Oh, I can't double! I can't double with Wrath with the Steel Bow. This guy's a little too fast. Maybe a critical? A critical. A critical would save the day right now, Wrath. A critical hit would save the day! Come on, Wrath! Nah, that's alright. Not gonna happen. One, one HP. That's like, of course. Naturally, has one hit point. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's use you. Definitely have to make Wrath move again. So, definitely need to do that. Oh man, this is getting nerve-wracking. This is actually getting to be a big problem. Uh, but we should be should be okay. You know what I should have done? Well, actually, I don't I didn't really have a chance to. But I should move Hawkeye like over here so we can go help out the cause a little bit, or at least serve as a blockade. Um, but oh boy! All right, let's uh, let's do. Oh boy, I can't get Priscilla get too close either because of this Wyvern Rider. Although she's actually kind of fine right there. Let's just leave her right there and let's get a physic up on the bones. Definitely need to heal him. Up. Definitely, definitely. Alright, good. Get Legault back up to speed. That's what I like to see. Excellent, excellent. Uh, uh, uh -huh. This is scary. This is scary. Okay, what if I have Legault come in and... It's, oh, I need to have him steal. That's right. I need to have him steal the... Uh, oh, you know what I... Uh, I can't do that. I can't actually do that. Hmm. <laughs> Could I have potentially Wrath attack this guy? 
Not really. I mean, he could do a little bit, but that doesn't help me as much as I thought it would. You know what would be nice? If Marina had the Lance Reaver, that would have been a good thing to bring. That's okay. Or the Axe Reaver, I should say. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm deciding on a strategy now. I'm going up with Legal. I have to I have to steal regardless. Uh, first, I'm going to equip the Killing Edge. I have to steal the White Gem. I'm going to take that for myself. Which is nice. That's mine now. Um, I am then going to have to attack with Eliwood because Eliwood is going to have to step in and... You know what? You know what? Instead of attacking, I'm just going to wait with Eliwood. Yes. Instead of attacking with Eliwood, I'm going to wait, but I am going to give him the uh, break here. Hopefully nothing goes wrong up there. Um, now I am going to have to use Wrath over here. This guy definitely can't reach anymore. Um, so I'm going to have to use... Wait, can he? No, he only has a... Uh, Wrath is going to move over here, and he's going to be able to attack and probably get yeah, kill that thing. So let's do that, and then let's use Florina to get rid of the Wyvern Rider. Wow, some intense strategy going on here. Uh, hopefully everyone survives. That's the thing. I hope everyone, like, nothing stupid happens, like criticals, or no one dies in a dumb way. Like, please let everyone survive this. That would be so, so, so wonderful. I can just use the Iron Lance because this thing... Actually, you know what? I'm going to quit the Killer Lance. Because in case, well, does that, yeah, that improves his hit percentage just slightly. I'm saying, no, nah, I'll use the kill lane. Just in case something else tries to attack, I don't want, I want Florina to be able to finish it off. Whatever it is that comes in and tries to attack Florina, I want it to die. Here we go. Enemy phase. Gonna attack Legault. Can't hit. Good, good, good. Oh, criticals. I, I want to get criticals, definitely. All right. Oh, that helps immensely. That helps immensely. That guy's so dead next turn. That guy's so dead. Okay, this guy, <laughs> why even bother? Honestly, honestly, honestly. <laughs> he must have a death wish because Hawkeye just wrecking face down there. Okay, I think this is actually gonna, gonna turn out just fine. Um, here's my main concern here. Critical! Yo, he got it, he got it! I was gonna say, maybe he would have been able to double attack. He would have been down to one HP, but not with a critical hit from Luna's 25% crit chance. Ouch. Ouch. Hard to mess with that. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, this was what I was hoping for. This guy hopefully can't double either. Oh, he's also got Luna. No, it'll definitely weigh him down too much to be able to double. Oh, that hurts. That tome hurts. That, again, negates enemy resistance, so that thing hurts in the end. Good. That's... Oh, we can... <laughs> okay. Okay, Cadis. Now you're just showing off. Now you're just showing off. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. All right. I think that's the end of that. Oh, I got I got another one this time. That's good. That's good. I don't have to worry about the first one running out. Okay, now we should be... Now we're just getting some random reinforcements coming in. Gotta get rid of Paul up here. That shouldn't be a problem at all. I could use any one of these magic units to do that job with little to no issue. I'm kind of tempted to use uh, Wrath, actually, to finish him off. Let's see if Wrath can get a good hit in on him. He can do four damage. Can I get him down to... Oh, let's see. No, it's so risky. So risky. Because he has that killer axe. It's that killer weapon that I absolutely hate facing. So, you know what? Yeah, you know what? We're just going to have Lucius uh, finish that thing. So, not worrying about that for a second. Let's uh, turn our attention over here. And let's see what's going on in this direction. I don't think there's any more items that I need to steal. I believe that's all set. So now what I'm going to have Legault do and Florina kind of tag team. Actually, you know, I should really wait until these reinforcements stop pouring in. Um, I'm going to eventually have them tag team and fly all around the map. I'll probably speed up that portion because that's going to take a while. Uh, but in any case, let's have uh, Lucius go up here and finish off this just nonsense. Just get rid of it, please. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe we lost, brother. <laughs> ha! Ah, it's a tragedy, Jasmine, he says, as he fades away into nothingness. Lucius getting more experience. Look at all that X for Lucius. That's what I need, though. Lucius, look at that. Magic resistance HP. That's so typical. Such a typical level up. But look at those stats. Fantastic for Lucius. That's what I like. That's what I like. Okay. Okay. Now we have stuff coming in over here. Yeah, Legault at an obvious disadvantage against that thing. Uh, Canis definitely needs some heat. So let's do that right now. Let's give him a mend for Canis. And again, more experience. This more experience thing is going to be good. You really, really, really 
have to make sure to monitor your experience in this chapter because if you don't then you can find yourself you know not getting enough experience you go through all that work to get 690 experience and guess what you can't get that side chapter so that kind of sucks i want to make sure that doesn't happen all right i want to also make sure that hawkeye doesn't keep like getting kills i want other people over here to get some kills namely florina so i'm going to move florina right over here so she can engage this wyvern rider actually can i unless unless i can do some serious damage with the javelin i doubt that um i want florina to move there her barrier is still like pretty good 12 resistance i think this guy will maybe will be able to do yeah more damage so not concerned about that but let's move florina here let's keep her with the killer lance that seems to be working out well that's fine by me. She'll take out those things. Uh, we can have Wrath. This is why Wrath is so useful. All these flying units. It's on hard mode. You get all these flying units that come in over here. Wrath with the bow can just ride over here. And hey, look at this. Double attack with the steel bow. Yeah, hell yeah, I will. Look at this. Look at this. Going to town. Wrath. Oh, a miss. No, that's okay. No, that's okay. I thought Wrath would get a little more experience. Actually, you know what? That gives more experience for these units. Uh, I'm going to have Legault then do it, uh, if that's the case, because some magic units, though. Everything's going to be in range, though. That's the problem. All this range. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you know what? Damn. Damn, Rav. Why couldn't you hit? Hit with that. Oh, God. That messes me all up now. That might be okay, though, because we're just going to use Legault here. Coming in with the iron. Oh, God. He can't do anything to that thing. Uh, Ellie would can't, though. No. Ellie would. Uh, Ellie would. Oh, good. Oh, oh, okay. Ellie would. Finish the job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me some experience. Not much experience for that kill, though. I don't like that. Definitely less than 700x. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not a good level up either. Ellie would, though, for level 18, really not bad. Really not at all. I, I could have gotten way worse with an Ellie would. My good. I've seen way worse as well, and it's not pretty. It is not pretty. Okay. Uh, you know what, though? Ellie was now in range of a lot of things. Oh, well. Might not be in range too much longer because Canis can move out and attack that mage. And that's exactly what I want to do. Even though Canis would get hit by this. What's this thing? Speed 7. And that thing is speed 9. I don't want to... The tome is going to slow him down by, what, 1? Okay, so he still can't double attack if I use Flux. Now, is that going to be able to finish off the mage? I'm not going to do it if he can't kill him can't kill him unfortunately uh but i could use uh, uh this is difficult um this is challenging i don't like that it's challenging elliwood should be fine you know what he should be fine against all that crap so i'm not gonna worry about elliwood too much i'm gonna move uh legault back down here and get him started on his little treasure run so let's go in this direction let's use ninian to make it so that legault can move again and let's continue to send him down so that he can start his treasure gathering excursion over here. I have a little map pulled up uh, with all of the treasure locations, so I'll be able to point that out to you guys. I'll probably provide a link in the video description as well, just because I'm so nice. Um, so we're going to move Legault right here so he can't be attacked. The first treasure is down in this area that I want to grab, so we're going to make sure to do that first and foremost. Now, Canis, I guess Canis isn't going to really do much, huh? He might get attacked. I'll just move forward once, guys. I think that should be fine. Hawkeye is fine right where he is. So, everything else is good to go. All right, Elliewood, fend off mages, please. Please fend off mages for me. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge, Florina. Can we get a critical hit here? No, we cannot. But that's okay. Good damage with the Killer Lance. That's fine. That's exactly what I want. So, see, a lot of things to worry about in this chapter. This chapter is very, very tricky. Especially with the units I picked. You know, I kind of purposely picked. Oh, another great dodge from Kelly. Look at that. Fantastic. Good. And Wrath will be able to get that kill easily. Getting a lot of experience. Which is good. Unless he misses both times. That would be tragic. My goodness. All right. Yeah. See that archer? See that lowly little archer in the middle there? He is going to be the unit that I leave alive. So that I can get all of these other treasures that are all around the map. So, want to make sure that we can do that with no problem. And we will. We will be able to. 
good only one of the mages was able to attack still getting reinforcements but really not too threatening at this point uh i got past that turn so that's good now the gold the first treasure is down here i believe it is in these four tiles that i need to stand so i'm gonna go down here and work my way over there if i get attacked by one thing that's fine it's not gonna really be that big of an issue um let's see let's see let's see oh yeah first and foremost wrath Handling this Wyvern unit up here. Yeah, he won't even get in range of that one, so. Perfect, no problem at all. 100 hit percentage, nothing can go wrong, right? Good, nothing went wrong. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Good, Wrath with a level up, too. Moving up to level 12. Oh, Wrath. Wrath, what the hell? I love you, but man. Man, let's go. <sighs> all right, all right, that's fine. Um, we have this guy that can be finished off with Canis easily because I want to move Florina over here. Now that Florina didn't get hit. Oh boy, she still has that risk. This thing could kill her. <laughs> that thing could kill her. That's not very good. Uh, Canis, I want to... Yeah, Canis definitely needs to finish this thing off. So let's do that. Right, really easily. That's not a problem at all. For Canis, using the Flux right there. And... And it's gone. Fantastic. Fantastic. Making sure I get everything done that I need to get done in this chapter. The Nevada Desert. You can see why it's annoying, though. You can see why it's annoying. And I haven't even really ventured out into the desert itself, so... Ugh. It's the worst. It's the worst. Anything desert-related in a video game is always terrible. Always terrible. Alright, let's do that. The lightning right here. Lucius, again, against magic. Not a threat at all, so... Lucius can easily handle whatever comes to, whatever comes his way. And so weird. His way. It's a, Lucius is a male. I always forget. Okay. And Ellie Wood can just clean up here and get rid of this mage. Now, again, you want... Uh, Ellie Wood's pretty high... Ellie Wood's very high level. So I want... I'm trying to avoid using him too much. That's why I didn't particularly want to have him take out the boss. Because that's a lot of experience. You know, 100 experience. And if Ellie Wood does that job, then I don't know if he gets the full amount of experience for that. Uh, Florina's fine right there. Priscilla kind of needs to heal herself. Um, does anyone else need heals? Elliewood could use a little bit. Lucius could use a little bit. Can I get Priscilla up that far? Uh, not quite. I can use the Physics Staff, though. Want to make sure I don't get in range of that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's move uh, Priscilla up a little bit. Let's use... Uh, can move her more than that. Use the Physics Staff to heal up Lucius, which should be great. And then I can have... Uh, what's her name? Ninian make Priscilla move again. And Priscilla can use another staff to heal someone else. So that's even better. That's just fantastic. Fantastic. Go up here. Go ahead and dance. Now, Ninian has other dances as well, if you've noticed. Accumulating some other dances. Ninny's Grace, and I believe I have Thor's Ire at this point. Uh, you can actually find some other ones in this chapter, actually. One of the treasures is another band that uh, she can use to dance. And all those dances have other useful effects, so... Kind of interesting, really, that they're, that a character like Ninian, who you may look at at face value and be like, eh, well, is that really worth a unit slot? Well, she can actually make, you know, she can actually have a lot of utility in a lot of different chapters for a lot of different reasons. And you know what? I'm going to stick Priscilla right here because even though she'll get attacked by this mage, it's a magic unit. So I'm never really concerned about Priscilla getting attacked by magical units. Um, so I'm going to move over here and I'm going to heal Ellie. And I'll probably turn the animations off right now because the healing animation does get repetitive. You get to see barrier, you get to see a few different things, you get to see physic, but I'm going to turn that off a little bit so, so it, it doesn't get so repetitive anymore. But anyway, uh, I believe that's about all I want to do. You know what I could do though? I could move Florina down instead of up. That space, I believe, right there is in range of that wyvern. It is. So let's move Priscilla. Or, geez, I keep missing, messing up those names. Move Florina right there, and everyone's fine. No problems at all. Let's keep going. Gonna attack Florina as expected. That's fine. A good dodge again by Florina. I really wish she would gain like one more HP. So she can't be double attacked by things that do 11. It seems like an odd number is so much better than an even number's worth of health. I don't know why. It just is. Because because if you get double attack, you probably don't die if you have an odd number of health. Now, not an odd number of hit points, but anyway. It could be the difference. Could be the difference. That one HP, as you saw, could definitely be the difference between life and death. So, all right, we got some shamans moving up. 
That archer is making his approach. I do want to make sure I leave him alive. Uh, alternatively, you could have that brigand be alive, but that's a lot harder. Because then that brigand's going to be running around and causing chaos everywhere. Uh, let's have Legault stand here. And I got treasure! I got an ocean seal. An ocean seal. An incredibly useful item uh, because it promotes a pirate level 10 and up. So that is very hard to get. We're going to be using that on dark, of course. Um, but that's a hard to acquire item. Very, very rare in the game. And the fact that you can get one there, you do not want to pass up that opportunity. Now, Florina, still old and strong over here, uh, can use another Iron Land. She's going to be rescuing uh, Legault to move her around. So I want to move her as close to him as possible. And oh! Naturally, the Killer Lance, no criticals. Regular old Iron Lance, critical hit all the time. Thanks, Lorena. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just showing off again. This guy's still slow, right? Yeah, he can't move very far. Um, I really kind of want to heal Priscilla herself. Uh, so let's do this. I can trade with... Who has Vulnerite? Right. I really want this. You can take this. And I'll go ahead and use that Vulnerite right now. And it's fine that she stays up there. That's not that's not too much of a concern. Actually, oh, she can move afterwards. That's right. Let's retreat her all the way back over here. And then have these units just continue to pound away at this. Uh, it's really not that hard. So now, because Wrath is here, Wrath can just, like, go ahead and do work against all this crap that comes in. Uh, this guy just has a regular old flux, right? Nothing all surprising? No. Um, so we're gonna do that. And you know what? I could have Priscilla move again and move up there and give Wrath a barrier as well. I might, might go ahead and do that. Um, so let's have Wrath attack this thing. Might get hit. That's fine. Oh, okay. Why can't you do that the first time? Seems like that always happens on the second time. When you double attack, you have a critical percentage. If the first hit crit, then I wouldn't have to worry about the second one. But no. No, then you get hit, and then you crit on the second one. It's like, well, I could have just avoided all of that damage if the first hit just hit. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't, get, don't worry about it. Now let's do this. Priscilla, dance again. More experience points. I like it. Racking them up, baby. Making it rain with all that experience. Which is good. Still a lot of units coming in from over there, though. That's kind of troubling. I don't know how long. Actually, I really don't know how long. Those units are going to keep being uh, reinforcements from over in that direction. So I guess we'll find out um, how long reinforcements are going to continue to pour in from that side of the map. But really, we're in a good position now. They're all magic units except for these. So we're in a really good position to be, be fine in this chapter. Uh, Canis can now try to move out a little bit and probably intercept a lot of these guys as they come forward as well. I want Hawkeye to just sit back here and do nothing. So can't, don't want to drop Pent. If you drop him, keep that in mind. You know, he's nice and rescued and safe now. If you do drop him, then he will go ahead and just move out and attack. So you don't want that to happen. So keep Pent rescued with Hawkeye. That, that, in my opinion, is the best way to do it. So this is good. More shamans moving forward. This is fine. This is fine. You know, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that Fire Emblem is out on the Virtual Console. That's just, that's great. You know, now we're all hoping for a Fire Emblem 6 release on Virtual Console, I'm sure. But Fire Emblem 7, in my opinion, it's really, I think, the best of the series. I Like, it's just the best game in the series, I think. All the characters are really fleshed out. The maps are, it's good variety and good challenge. I just love it. I love this game. So, all right, that archer is probably going to move. I, I need to get in position to trap this archer now. Um, and I want to do it with these four units. So, first, first, I need to get rid of this. First, this thing needs to go. Now, I should probably move down. Okay, let's move down here. First, this thing needs to go away. So, we're going to do that right away. Then, what I'm going to do is that archer is going to move forward, and I need to surround him with four units. So, the archer can neither move nor attack. And if you can do that, then you're pretty much set. There's nothing else to worry about. You just bring it, just still chilling out here with a hammer, as if any knight is going to make it that far. Uh, but anyway, whatever. Uh, let the game do what it wants. That's fine. That's fine. This thing's going to move forward. So I want to make sure that, ever, first of all, everyone has to be out of its range, so it can't attack. And second of all, I need to make sure I'll have all these units right up here surround that unit so it can't do anything. Um, yeah, I can move Elliewood right over here. Should be fine. Actually, I can dance to make him move a little closer. Like that. Why not? Go ahead and dance for me, Ninian. Yeah, dance for me. That's right. 
Ellie was like, yeah, dance for, dance for me, Ninian. You know, I just see you as a normal little girl, of course. A little girl that I like to put my arm around. Yeah, I know. I know how Ellie would operate. So, all right. All right, down here. Uh, and then Priscilla, I want to be out of the way. Priscilla should be somewhere in this vicinity, somewhere over here, though. And she could probably use a barrier on Ninian. Let's raise Ninian's resistance, just in case something crazy decides to come over here and attack Ninian. She'll at least be safe, and it's at least going to get me a lot more experience. So this is good. This is good. Another level up for Priscilla. Jeez, she sucks. My God. All right. It's not too much longer. Like I said, once Lucius classes up to a bishop, which is the next rank, Lucius gets the ability to use stave. So that kind of almost, it kind of makes uh, Priscilla a little obsolete. And she usually ends up falling behind once that happens. So uh, we don't have much longer for Priscilla to use. Now Priscilla's levels are important though, for a reason that I will address probably in like three or so chapters. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but good. Kane is doing some work here. Get rid of all these magic units. Literally no threat to him at all. Good another. Oh, please atone for that last horrible level up. God, what is this? Canis, you know what? Screw you. Screw you. Canis, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Go to hell. God, that is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. I, I, oh. Let's calm down. Now. Where's this next treasure? All, all the rest of them are kind of like in the middle over here. So I want Canis to take out that thing. So I'm gonna rescue and move to be about here. That should be fine. That's out of the range of everything. Yes, good, good, good. And Hawkeye's gonna stay over there and everything I believe is fine. Yep, fine and dandy. Okay, I like the music though. I haven't actually commented on the music. All this desert themed music is all very exclusive to this chapter, so. Kind of cool that they went the extra mile. They were like, okay, you know what chapter we really need to work on? You know what chapter we really need to make very special? The desert chapter. Yeah, thanks a lot, intelligent systems. <sighs> All right, good, good. Canis, you're just a waste of experience right now because now I'm pissed off. Now I'm pissed off and you, don't, you won't like me when I'm angry. And I am angry. Believe me, I'm angry. Uh, good, that's fine. Uh, whatever, just hurry up. Just hurry up and kill things. Because now I'm now I'm like lost my patience with Canis. Canis started out great, was fantastic. I really want to use him as a druid, but you know what? Now he's being all crappy. Now he's crapping out on me. Right at the end when it matters, Canis is like, nope, you know what? Nah, nah, I don't really wanna I don't wanna do that. It's possibly can lure this archer even a little more back here. I kinda wanna do that because this archer how far can this archer be? Five, so we can move one, two, three, four, five. Shoot two spaces. Yeah, let's do that. I want to move this archer. I want to lure this archer even further back here. Um, so I can easily surround that archer. Let's do that. Let's, do that. let's move over here. Uh, that archer is not going to be able to reach. Pretty sure. Here. Uh, let's move over here. Uh, let's just... Um, yeah, sure. Do that. It's for experience. For the X. Do it for the X. Please. Do it for the X. Good stuff. Good stuff. More experience. This is what you need. That's what you need in this chapter. Lots of experience. Alright, yeah, this is fine. This is perfect, actually, because you can move right there, and you can dance for Elliewood, even though it's, it's going to be kind of useless. It's just, it's just really more plot at this point. More, adding some more romance to the mix. Why not? Go ahead. And dance for me. Dance for me, Nanny. I order you. It's a direct order from the tactician. Um, and you can move right over there. That's fine. Now, totally out of range of all this crap. This archer is probably going to move right here. And then I can easily surround him with these four units. Actually, can I move? Yes, I can. I'm going to move right here. Good. Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, way over here, uh, what is happening? Um, let's see. I definitely need to move you over here. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to drop there. And Canis is just going to come over here and be all disappointing, but still, he will manage to take out this thing. Can't double attack with that. Luna, duh, Luna, the only downside of Luna, I, I should talk about it now. I don't know if I, how much I've talked about it, I kind of forget. But Luna is borderline broken. It negates enemy resistance. It has a high hit percentage. It has a high crit percentage. So the damage you do is just based on whatever your magic stat is. 
So if you have a unit that has a magic stat of 30, like totally maxed out at 30, and you use Luna, you're going to do 30 damage with about a 25 crit percentage every time. It's a little absurd, in my opinion, but whatever. Nobody asked me, I guess. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Good position to be uh, surrounded right there. Actually, a great position because I can use Wrath with the Longbow to take that thing out, and that surrounds him on one side. And now I can't even get attacked. Come on, Wrath! Yes, good, good, good. The Longbow being put to good use right there. Perfect. Perfect, Wrath with the Longbow. Ellie would, oh, Ellie would can't reach. Oh, you know what I can do, though? Ellie would reach because I'm going to Priscilla who can't reach. Ellie can move right here, which is fine. Ninian can move right here and dance for Elliewood, and Elliewood will be able to move up one more space. And then whoever it is can come in and fill in that last spot, probably Lucius. And then, uh, look, just like that, the archer is trapped and now cannot move anywhere. I want to make sure you don't attack. Um, the archer is trapped. Unfortunately, cannot do anything. So he cannot attack anyone. So I can just wait out as, as long as it takes to gather the rest of these treasures. I want to make sure I, I'm careful of this. Actually, there's only one brigand left. Uh, let's just go kill him. Let's go kill him. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I want to... I'm going to wait, actually. I'm going to equip the killer lance, and I'm going to wait right here. So let's do that. And that's it. And it's just that brigand and that one trapped archer now. Now, I think the next treasure is in one of these four spaces, by the looks of it. One of these four. So I want to wait. And I'll grab a body ring, which increases your constitution. Very good little item to get. Canis is just going to be, I guess, a uh, little escort here for um, whoever that guy is. What's his, what's his name? Legault. Going to be a little escort for Legault. Uh, Priscilla is going to move over here and just be, you know, barrier, Hawkeye. Whatever I can do to get a little more experience, that's exactly what Priscilla is going to do. So, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. Get me a little more experience. Look at Hawkeye. He's all pissed off. He's like, just wants to hit her with his big axe. Don't do that, Hawkeye. Don't be that guy. Don't be a hero. Um, but let's move him over here. Because I want Hawkeye to now step in and, and surround that unit. Because Hawkeye, I'm not using at all. So I want to make sure that Hawkeye comes in and is that... You know, he would be a good barrier because he has no use for this right now. So, good. Florida taking that guy out with no problem. Wanted to wait, though. If I attacked, got hit with the hammer, and then the bandit counterattacked... I would have been in a pretty bad position. Not a bad level up for Florina. Florina is, is good. Florina is just good, and I like that. She's just doing what I expect her to do, which is fantastic. All right, now this is pretty much the end of things here. I'm just going to use... Uh, I'm gonna, I want to have Ninian move out a little bit. Okay, I want Hawkeye to move here. I want Ninian to move right here and dance for Hawkeye. And then I want Hawkeye to take up that space. And once I do that, I'm just going to pretty much you know dance with Ninian every turn. And go find treasure with uh with Legault. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move Hawkeye right here. This guy's still surrounded, can't do anything. Uh Priscilla, I don't wanna waste more staves, so unless I have to heal. I can heal. Heal's okay. Because heal uh, heal staff kind of disposable at this point. Men staff is really the standard at this point in the game. So a little bit of a heal staff, not really a big deal. Um, rack up some more experience. I want Legault found the body ring, so now I want him to move up a little bit here. I'm not even really going to bother rescuing him um, because the next tr uh, treasure is right over here in this area. In fact, one of the spaces Florina is on now has a treasure. If Florina finds it, that would save me a little bit of time. Let's see if Canis can maybe contribute to the treasure hunting effort. And this is what I'll be doing for the rest of the chapter. So I'm probably going to speed things up here and I will be back with you when I'm done. Do nothing that can go wrong, so let's go ahead and do that and finish things off here. Oh, good. Even dodge to end the chapter. Even a dodge to end things here. That'll be a level up. 20 more experience for Wrath. Fantastic. Everything should be fun. Oh my god. Uh, this has been a successful chapter 
full of some of the worst level ups that I've ever gotten. Like, awful. Absolutely ter- I hate the desert chapters. I hate them so much now. Now especially. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Couldn't watch a lost sided battle, that was all. So why have you come to this wasteland? He says, well, we're told to come here and meet a living legend, you know, by some guy. Uh, we just so happened to find you in this massive desert. If you think about it, the odds of this are really, uh, really slim that it would have all worked out quite, quite so nicely because we wandered into this huge desert just hoping to find one guy, but you know what it means. He says, yes, I suppose I do. Looks like we share a common destination. Hey, it looks like he's going to find this living legend character as well. Hawkeye, you're here too. Yes, Clint Barton, right over there. Pent, did you find it? I think that's the first, some of the first words he said. He said he was defender of the desert, and now he says he's here. That I did. And as I thought, it's spectacular. It's getting dark. It is? It looks pretty light to me. Let's go back. He says, yes, let's make haste. Desert nights are treacherous because the days are so nice and safe and calm, right? Oh, hello, <laughs> Elliot. Oh, all right. Whatever. Yes, 700 experience points. I will definitely accept the side quest. And uh, Hector says, I don't mind going with you, but how far do you have to walk? That's what I'm saying. You're in a desert. Hector's got all that armor on. He's probably hurting right now. No matter how far we go, we just, there's just more sand. Whoa! <laughs> it's a trap! What did Hector... Uh, yeah! <laughs> I love how everyone's just like one by one. They're like lemmings. <laughs> just falling off the cliff. Hector, Lindis, where did those two go? Whoa! What, it blazes? I'm I'm sinking into the sand! Oh my goodness. What are Heli what are Elliewood, Hector, and Lynn going to find beneath the sand in the desert? Is there more desert? Desertception. We'll find out in chapter 22X. This is Shadow Mario 41. That went pretty well, I have to say, uh, for the most part. Got a little lucky at some points. Got a little unlucky with the level ups, but <sighs> see you guys next time for chapter 22X.